This video is intended for demonstration purposes only and should not be followed as an exact installation procedural process. Users should refer to the official manuals for the correct installation procedure. This equipment must be installed by professional technicians who are familiar with the equipment and the design of the photovoltaic systems. The ABB Concentrator Data Device, or CDD, is used in conjunction with all models of the ABB microinverter family. This short video will take you through the acquisition procedure for the ABB CDD, which is required for commissioning the ABB microinverter system. Hi, my name is Cameron Stewart. I'm a trainer for the ABB's PV Academy. Today, I'm going to go through the steps to configure the ABB CDD to the ABB microinverter. We will discuss setting up the wired or wireless connection to the home internet, acquisition of microinverters, and registering the system on the Aurora Vision monitoring platform. The ABB CDD works as a communication hub from the ABB microinverters to the internet, which allows remote monitoring. It is connected to the internet via a home router using an ethernet or wireless connection and can be accessed using a computer, smartphone, or tablet. The CDD is required to commission the ABB microinverter system. One ABB CDD can monitor up to 30 microinverters. For systems with more than 30 microinverters, additional CDDs will be needed. If the CDD is connected to the homeowner's internet router wirelessly, we have to confirm the wireless network is compatible with the CDD. The CDD can be used with a hardware connection if that is needed. For more information on the CDD compatibility, a list is provided on the download section of the ABB website. The router will need a visible SSID. It has to support WPA and WPA2 security protocols, and it needs to support an IEEE 802.11b communication frequency. Because the ABB CDD uses radio waves to transmit and receive data, it is important to assess this factor in choosing the installation position. Walls reinforced with cement and surfaces covered in metal, doors, shutters, etc., can drastically reduce the range of the device. Find a location for the CDD considering the signal strength degradation. Refer to the manual for more information. Once you open the CDD box, you will find a power supply, two antennas, and mounting hardware. First, attach antennas on the CDD. Plug in the CDD power supply to the bottom of the CDD. Plug in the DC power adapter into a standard 120 outlet. As you can see, the CDD will begin to boot up once the power supply has been connected. The CDD display will show a cycling menu. The CDD comes with a default setting to Ethernet connection. To check to see what your CDD is set to, locate the display keys on the side of the CDD. In order to get the acquisition wizard, press and hold both the up and down keys simultaneously for three seconds. This will bring up a password prompt on the display. Press the up and down keys to change the digits of the password. Click enter to move to the next number or escape key to move back to the previous digit. Enter the password 0010 to access the advanced menu. Scroll through the menu to find network settings and press enter to see if the CDD is set to Ethernet or WLIS. These operations can be carried out using the CDD display or on a computer via web server integration in the CDD. If you choose to proceed with an Ethernet connection, the CDD network connection is set to Ethernet. Simply insert the Ethernet cord to the computer and the CDD to begin the acquisition process. If you choose to proceed with a wireless connection, make sure the network connection is set to WLIS on the CDD. The CDD will display the available networks, select the one you want to connect to. This most likely will be the homeowner's network. The connection may take a few moments. 
if the CDD doesn't automatically scan for available networks, disable and re-enable the wireless radio by using the up and down arrows. Then proceed to find the available networks. If the homeowner has an open network, proceed with the acquisition. Configuration with protected WPA, WPA2 network. If the homeowner has a secure network, ask the homeowner for their passkey. Press the up and down buttons on the CDD to scroll the list of characters, 0 through 9, A through Z, and special characters. Enter the passkey into the CDD. Press enter to confirm each character selected, or press escape to cancel the last character input. Press enter again to accept the passkey. Once the security key has been completely inserted, press enter two times to start the connection. The CDD starts the connection to the wireless network and within a few seconds, the display shows a message indicating the results of the connection attempt. At the end of the procurement, the message WLIS enabled will appear. For best monitoring functionality, make sure that the firmware is the most current version. To find the firmware version number using the CDD display keys, press and hold both the up and down keys simultaneously for three seconds. This will bring up a password prompt on the display. Press the up key and down key to reach the menu and navigate through the numbers. Click enter to advance to the next number or escape to correct an error. Enter the password 0010 to access the advanced menu. Next, check the version of the firmware through the advanced menu under View Information, then Firmware Release, and then Application. If the firmware value is less than 2.3.3, contact ABB Technical Support. For the purposes of this video, I'll be using the Ethernet connection to acquire the ABB microinverters. Once the CDD is connected to the network, press the escape key to display the IP address for the CDD. Note that this IP address may change depending on the type of network that the CDD is connected to. Open a web browser on a computer, smartphone, or tablet. In the address bar, enter the IP address that is displayed on the screen of the CDD. This will open the CDD web server interface. Navigate to the micromanager page from the config menu. At this point, a pop-up menu will appear asking for further authentication. Enter admin for the username and admin for the password, all lowercase letters. The micromanager will ask for the latitude and longitude and time zone of the installation location. You can find this by Googling the address or looking at a Compass app on your smartphone. This step is very important. If the step is not done correctly, there may be problems with the system monitoring. Enter the correct information and click Confirm. Start Acquisition. To start the acquisition, click the Start Acquisition button. The micromanager will scan for available microinverters within range. This process may take up to 10 minutes. When you see the desired number of inverters acquired, press the Stop Acquisition button to stop the acquisition. Note there are 12 inverters per box. The micromanager will display the MAC address and serial number of each inverter found. Compare the MAC addresses and serial numbers of the microinverters found to the MAC addresses and serial numbers to the microinverters installed on the site. If there are undesired microinverters found, uncheck the box on the same line of the undesired microinverter. Once all of the microinverters have been acquired with a max of 30 per CDD, click the Confirm button. Next, the micromanager will prompt you to set the country standard. Select the appropriate grid setting and frequency for your installation location and click the Confirm button. If the microinverters have been registered to Aurora Vision, click the Please Click Here to Complete button. For the homeowner self-registration, follow the link provided.
Before mounting the CDD, it is important to consider all viable locations and properly evaluate the right position for the CDD and microinverters to communicate with each other. With the micro installed on the roof, the distance between the inverter and the CDD should be in close range. If the distance is too great, the signal will not be strong enough for the monitoring functionality to work. Check the manual for specific location guidance. After an appropriate location has been identified, mount the CDD to the wall. Congratulations! The CDD installation and acquisition has been completed successfully. My name is Cameron Stewart. I hope you found this installation video helpful. For more information on our PV Academy, please follow this link. This was a short video on how to install the ABB CDD. If you have any additional questions, please call our technical support line.